Have you ever felt like you're having a hard time making the progress you feel you deserve in running? You might be right because your body type may be holding you back from reaching your running potential. I once attended a pro triathlon training camp where the most talented athlete in the group was tall and lanky. The head coach explained to me that this athlete had just finished several months of work to overcome the limitations placed on him by his body type. This athlete went from slow and more plodding in his run stride to a quick and fast run technique, and he eventually became one of the top ranked professional triathletes in the world. Of course, a good training plan will make the biggest difference in your running success, but that doesn't mean that we can't do a few months of work to pick up some really quick gains by running in a way that complements our unique body types. What's up, motivators? My name is Taryn. When ordinary people want to accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports, they choose unlimited motive training plans for as low as $14.99 a month. You're ready to take on that next big challenge? Let's do it. There are three body types that we all fall into. We're either ectomorphs, endomorphs, or mesomorphs. Ectomorphs are the long and lanky folks out there. They have thinner arms and legs, don't put on weight very easily, tend to look tall and lanky, even though they might be short and skinny. Professional triathletes Alistair Brownlee, Lucy Charles Barkley, and Justin Metzler are ectomorph types. Almost all elite runners are also ectomorphs. Endomorphs are the opposite of ectomorphs. I personally am an endomorph. We are thicker and rounder. We have a hard time keeping weight off. Even when we're very fit, we tend to look blocky and sturdy, so we're the typical people that say we're not built to run. In the triathlon world, Ruth Astle and Christian Blumenfeld would be more the endomorph type. Christian is a world champion, so yes, we endomorphs can learn to run very well. Finally, mesomorphs are the people we all hate because they look like Captain America and tend to be the friends who are naturally really athletic looking, maybe without even working at it. Just kidding, we don't hate the mesomorphs, they're just gifted in that they can put on muscle and look great without also putting on a lot of bulk. In the triathlon world, Lionel Sanders and Paula Findlay would be mesomorphs. Now, because each body type is defined roughly by limb length and thickness, each body type will tend to move in a certain way, and this is where we can train our running technique to complement and overcome our body shapes. First, we need to understand the formula that dictates how fast we run. Running speed equals distance covered with each foot strike multiplied by the frequency of every foot strike. Increase the distance covered with every foot strike or the frequency of foot strikes that we take and we will go faster. So starting with the long and lanky ectomorphs, these athletes tend to have no problem getting a nice long stride covering a lot of distance with every foot strike. The challenge with these athletes is that they tend to need help getting off the ground quickly and getting a quick foot turnover. There's just so much limb to move that moving quickly is the challenge. Going back to our formula, the distance covered by ectomorphs is good, but the frequency of foot strikes tends to be lower because they spend a lot of time on the ground. So ectomorphs will benefit from plyometric strength training to learn to get off the ground quickly. I'm always cautious with plyometrics because they tend to have a high probability of creating injuries. Instead, what we like to do in our app is prescribe trail running for the long runs, cueing athletes to really focus on fast foot turnover, which will make a big difference because when on trails, the surface is a little bit soft, so it's harder to get that foot turning over really quickly. Focusing on doing this on the trails will allow you to do it much easier on the roads. Then, in fast interval workouts like this one on the screen, athletes should focus on that increased cadence during the fast portion of the runs. This will allow the athlete to transfer that fast foot turnover on the trails into their day-to-day -day running. Now getting into endomorphs, we tend to have quick little legs so frequency of foot strikes isn't the problem. Opening up and getting a big stride distance is more of a challenge because our legs are little. So in our case, it's important for us endomorphs to open up our body, allowing for as long a stride as our little legs will allow. In our training plans, we do a lot of strength and mobility workouts that encourage mobility and strength in the hips so that the stride can open up a little bit longer, allowing us that nice long foot stride covering more distance with every foot strike that we take. Finally, let's get to those lucky mesomorphs. Because these athletes tend to be really naturally athletic, there tends to not be one solitary focus or body limitation to overcome. 
Instead, the focus for these athletes should be on maximizing a good basic run technique and pushing up both factors in the running speed equation. So a slight focus on quicker run cadence, consciously trying to increase your strides per minute by three to 8% can make runners go faster without using any more energy. And when it comes to distance covered with each foot strike, mesomorph should focus on getting more stable in the core so that more force can be transferred into the push off. Traditional strength exercises like squats, lunges, deadlifts, and push presses will make each foot strike a little bit more powerful, covering more distance. Now, something important to understand is that these guidelines aren't the end all be all of run training. A good run training plan and consistent running of two to five times per week will make the biggest difference in your run performance. I believe that for first year beginner runners or current runners who have never focused on their technique can benefit from a three to six month focus on developing good technique that will establish excellent movement patterns and run habits that will create a stable foundation that will be easier for us to build upon. So get yourself a good training plan, but don't think that run technique is something that you'll just figure out on your own. Spend a small amount of time dialing in excellent run technique for your unique body type. You're ready to take on that next big challenge and when you train with Motive, you will be ready on race day. Check out Motive that it is the only app in the world with training plans designed specifically for ordinary people who want to accomplish something extraordinary in endurance sports. And you can try it for free. Finally, click the video on the screen. I mentioned that increasing your run cadence by three to 8% can allow you to run faster without using any extra energy. This video will explain how to go about doing that in your workout so that you can get some small and quick gains. Later, motivators.